up at there. Wait, is right right here. here. Oh, why damn. did I waste my money on this? Damn. Why? You got a whole page, and you could have just you told a whole lie. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But the thing is, you know, you talked about Moolah. You talked about, what's the other guy's name? I can't say his name for nothing. Blueski, what'd you say? Blueski. And, Blue and, 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 you know, these guys have, you know, basically. It's these been a are, couple of them. These I mean, are business guys, you yeah. know. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I seen you this here recently. And when I seen you, it was in rare form because <laughs> you was on the internet here lately. Right. I was really trying to figure out, like, do I really want to cover this? I was reached out to by a so-called Dallas legend by the name of Don Chief. Uh, do I not? Because first of all, <laughs> that day, let me go into this day first of all. Let me do this because I need to do this. Yeah, go. I come on here. I'm going to drop them names. I'm not, I'm not going to have y'all like, oh, what you talking about? What you talking about? Don Chief. Okay, that that day, okay so I get a call <laughs> and I don't know who I got a call from first. You are Chief. One of y'all. I think it was Chief. I think Chief called me first. Yeah, he called you first. And then I was like, damn, you know, because I knew it was some stuff brewing. Mm -hmm. I, 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 Mama Scott finna go live. Mama Scott finna go live. <laughs> Mama Scott finna go live. I said, really? And I don't know who somebody, you know, people were talking yeah. before the live happened. Yeah. I don't really know Eat Greedy and the Eat Greedy crew and whatever the case may be. And I don't really care to know them. Watch who you play with. And the next thing you know, I get a call from Chief and I was like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, you know, she say you, you, you know, you and her having issues. But I didn't. And I really didn't get to talk yeah. to him long, to be honest right. with you, because I had to get off because of work. Right. So if somebody had called me, I was like, man, let me get off here. Because me and Chief got a relationship. Right. I know Chief. Uh, Chief been coming over here ever since I started this podcast. Uh, just like you've been coming right. over here. So when you get off, when I get off with him, I talk to you. Yeah. And I say, hey, Mama Scott, I said, damn, you know, <laughs> you better go live. I say, shit, you and... You and Chief, y'all got it going, huh? She say, like, yeah, I'm finna go live on this nigga's ass. I say, well, okay. I say, uh, I just talked and to Chief. Did. I said, I just talked to Chief, man. I, I didn't get to talk to him long. That was after I got through with my he call. He don't see me. And I say, damn, you know, this is really finna happen. Yeah, Next Next thing you know, you go live. Yeah. And when you go live, let me just say this before I let you talk. <laughs> Your ass get on there and say, uh, boss talk done told me you called <laughs> boss talk. Nigga, you told my ass. I, I said, how in the hell did I get in this? <laughs> now, I just was in the middle of a cross by. you family. But I said, oh, <laughs> shit, don't do this. <laughs> so, so, so at the end of the day, I see all of this stuff going on, man. Yep. And my thing is, you know, it's like, damn, I hate to see you know, I hate, the, to, see I hate to see the the, the, the disconnect because yeah. you got some good people. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Some great people that's been around here really impacting other people. I don't I, know what he impacted. No, no, no. I, I'm serious. <laughs> when, he, when he walk in the room and dealing with mm -hmm. certain people, they respect him on the level. They ain't never been scammed. You, listen, when you walk <laughs> into a room, they respect you on the level. I don't scam people. Okay. So, and I want to get into it, but I definitely really want to understand, like, like, you know, why do you keep giving these goddamn people money? First of all, man, I gotta say that first. You hear me? Well, you like, know wait a I, minute. Like, that's a, let me stop right but, now. But it, no, it, it hell ended no. With him. It ended with him. True enough. You giving out money to everybody nah, but ECO. No, nah, nah, I didn't give it. He asked for it. Okay, let's get to it. Yeah. What, what happened? So I had my break the cycle. So when fuck shit is already presented, previous to stuff. You already know, you can see it, the writing on the wall, how it's fixing to play out. Uh -huh. But I had an event. You were part of that event, Break the Cycle in East Texas. Which was is Break the Cycle what started the money transactions? Before. Was it for? Before. So it wasn't no Break the Cycle when you got the call? No. So this was separate from Break the yes. Cycle. So before you talked to him about Break the Cycle, Y'all talk. I want to hear what that conversation okay. was like. So the break the cycle was when I, I was don't want to hear about the break no, the cycle. No, no, no. I got to incorporate it so you can understand. Okay. <laughs> break the cycle is how I ended up talking to him initially. Like when I called you and say, hey, 
Well, do you mind speaking? And I said, don't put me on that goddamn flyer. <laughs> I don't want to speak at your event. Why y'all pressuring me? Why I got to talk? I remember you did an this. amazing job. Man, nobody want to hear that. But anyway, <laughs> yes. When I went, that's when you just called to inquire. Yes. Okay. So I have the receipts. If you ever want to see them, they're in my phone. Okay. And when I reached out to him, he said, "Yeah." He said, "Mom, Scott." He said, "Up." Uh, it, it took him two days to reply back. When I first presented it to him, he texted me back two days later. So I guess in them two days, he didn't reply. I see the message. But when he did reply back, it was like, yeah, uh, I, I'll do the break the cycle, but I, I got something for you, too. You know, so basically he was telling me he had an event coming up, his birthday party. Not only would he speak at break the cycle for me, he'll do better than that. If I help him pay for the promotion that he could not finish paying for for his party on the radio promotion. It was $1,500. Okay? okay, so it is kind of swirled up yes, a little bit. a little bit. Because he, it, it really becomes a thing where y'all start to conversate and some, a few things Texting, come out. Texting, because we yeah. never spoke. Never, okay. <clears throat> so, so did you feel like if you had told him no, that he wouldn't have spoke at your event? Yes. Keep going. I do. So I was like, well, yeah, that's cool. You know, so because all this time I have been told that he's like a Dallas legend. I didn't know no different. You know what I'm saying? So I've been respecting you as one and carrying you as one and speaking on you as one as well. Uh, and showed up to your event and promoted and supported as a person that wanted to show, see you win. Okay, so... You're talking about the event in Tyler. Yes, that's the event in Tyler when Finesse told him to shut the fuck up or cut that shit off. In front of 200 people. Yeah, we, me and, we, I actually had him on here about that. And he lied. You know, and, and then, you know, he was just like, you know, he would, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't on none of that. You know what I'm saying? He just didn't know who you was. And, and it was just really from the meme of. Yeah. He said it didn't happen like that. It happened you seen just the like show that. You were there there that day, I was right? on the front row. Yeah, you were there. TV I, was the DJ. Well, I was, I, I just, I brought him on because I want to know, he said he couldn't really hear. Yeah, he could hear it. The whole club heard it. The people outside in the parking lot heard it. Damn. What you mean? Everybody heard it. It was not something, it was like literally. It made TB nervous. <laughs> and he the damn DJ, shit. He, but you know. That's how loud it was. And, and so you supported him, so you felt like in turn he should support you. Well, during that night, um, I bought a section. Um, the section was thousand dollars. I bought the section. It was on a Sunday night, and we all went to support him and finesse. Okay, fin finesse showed his ass too by showing, treating us some type of way in front of taller people. But finesse you know, didn't treat you right. He treated the crowd fucked up. He came in there angry. They they had guns on him and some more shit when he came in there. His security team. These are kids in the building. You know what I'm saying? Like why y'all coming in here with that energy? That's how I felt. I was even on the front row. I touched it. Finesse. Why is you acting like that? I asked the nigga, why you acting like that? He know he remember me. He, ain't nobody else got purple hair. No. Did you? Do you have a relationship with him? No. No. Okay. She but I don't pay my money, so I gotta write. Know why you treat up like yeah, that? Yeah, she going up. <laughs> yeah, she, she at home. Yeah, this is my this is my home time. Why, we, nigga, we don't pay for you. We out here on a Sunday night. People gotta go to work and school in the morning. You in here with this energy like that? Like, no, that's not cool. But anyway, he he was mad. He later explained on behalf of Vanessa why he acted that way. You know, whatever. So I kind of get his point too. So I ain't gonna rag him. I understand why he was like that. They didn't do what they said they were gonna do prior to him coming into the building. We learned that later. Okay. Wow. Well, let's talk about. Let's get back up here to why you feel like Chief owes you fifteen hundred dollars. Well, let me tell you. See you. what I'm saying? Let me tell you why. I never had a problem when I when I left out of that. I'm gonna go back to this. I'm going to that. When I left out of Tyler, Texas that night, I bought a section. My cash app, I had used too much that day, so I paid two fifty cash, and I owed him seven fifty. Before I can get out of Tyler, Texas, he was blowing me up to my mama Scott, mama Scott, you got the other seven fifty. I pulled over and sent you your seven fifty right then. You know what I'm saying? So it's never been a problem for me to do what I say. Uh -huh. So when you ask me and you negotiate this for break the cycle, I take you at your word. What I said in the comments was, "I'm gonna trust you." Wow. I'm going to trust you because, you know, he looked like he was in a bad spot and trying to get his show, 
done, get the promotion done. Because I wasn't the only person you asked for $1,500. It's been a couple other people. But because I don't have permission to share their names, I'm not going to share their names. You shared my name. Well, you was one of the ones too, nigga. But yeah, at the I'm end of the day, at the end of the day, you shared my damn name. You know what I mean? You shared my name on everything. Damn. At the end of the day, he had asked a couple other people, but everybody else was saying no. Then you found Miss Scott, and I was like, I'm going to trust you, and I sent you the money. You know what I'm so saying? did you not, know everybody was telling him no, no before? No, I didn't know until after I did it. Okay. And that's why I'd be like, yeah, he hit me up too. Look. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. I'm a damn fool. I just mm-hmm. sent this nigga this money. You know, so, so I you trusted felt, him. you felt kind of... Played. Be- before you even... Even while the process... Before the of, event even Before came the up. event even came. Yes, because the night of the event, everybody, you know, the flyers was nice. You know, I, when I do stuff, I do it... If I don't care if it's five people, then everybody gonna feel like they diamonds. I don't give mm-hmm. a damn. Mm-hmm. I put him in the flyer. You know what I'm saying? I that was, was in the flyer. Yes, I'm clean I was in the flyer. about it. It, was a, it wasn't a flyer, it was a book. Yeah, it was a These book. These niggas had a book. <laughs> like a magazine. I, I had a magazine cover in that hole. I feel, I ain't yes, never been in nobody. you look at that magazine. magazine that you got yeah. it over there still. Yeah, let me see that if you yeah. got it. It's right here. Yeah, let me, let me see, see that. I want magazine. the people to see. That yeah. a damn this, magazine This, this ain't no cheap ass shit, bro. You know yeah, I see it. So, Show so, it to that camera right there. Yes. Which one? That one. Yeah, so when yeah. you got Don't go to my page, because yeah, I'm the one who needs to see it. I don't but, see the damn but, page. There it is right, right here. here. Oh, Why damn. Why did I waste my money on this? Damn. Why? You got a whole page. And you could have just, you told a whole lie. You didn't even have to be part of this book, part of this process, part of this event. And I was not hurting for people to show up like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he came to me with that type of proposal, okay? So, he did show up for Break the Cycle. I wasn't even mad about it. It was other niggas mad, but I wasn't mad. I was like, well, okay, y'all, he didn't show up, whatever. But you go to sending me pictures of your car being on I-20, talking about somebody died at exit one. Then you showed me another picture with your car being on a record, talking about you had a flat on the way to my event. And you told me you lost twenty five hundred dollars trying to get to my event for nothing. How did he lose? And I didn't even hit you up for nothing, Mama Scott. Is what he said to me. I showed it to my husband. My husband said, "What the fuck? How do you trying to get to an event cost you twenty five hundred dollars?" Right, that's what I was trying to figure out. If your tire was flat, you know. So did he the, ever tell you? I could fly across the United States for twenty five hundred dollars and get <laughs> lodging. I can eat at the best restaurant. I did it. You know what I'm saying? So how can you tell me from Dallas to Longview cost you $2,500 for a tow truck, for a raggedy-ass car that your ass need to turn in and get something that's more economical for you to afford? If $2,500 is what you pay somebody to come to East Texas that you never showed up, you never, he never had plans on coming. Let's be real. You never had plans. You already had them pictures in your phone. You already had your lies ready. Then you already had a way to try to get out of paying me the money that you owed me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.